I have a word to declare over you. Because let me tell you, friends, the Lord is destroying demonic systems of religion, of witchcraft, every attack vice, every setup against you is about to fall and be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. So I have a word to share over you today. I'm here in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Just got here a couple hours ago. And we have three days of wonderful miracle revival meetings from today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So keep us in prayer. And then next week, I will be in Hawaii. I'll be ministering over in Oahu and also in Hilo, the big island. Amen. I'm so excited. I mean, my goodness, there's been so much breakthrough, so much goodness, so much release that's happened today. But I want to talk to you about the battle acts of the Lord. Because today, as I was in prayer, I saw the acts of the Lord, the hammer of God, the hammer of God's justice coming down. Amen. And of course, we just stepped into the Hebrew month of Nisan. Next month, I'm going to go deeper into the prophetic word of the month for April. But we just stepped into the Hebrew month of Nissan. And of course, Nissan is not a Japanese uh, motor company. But Nissan is the Hebrew month of miracles. It's of Passover of transition. And we just stepped into the Hebrew month of Nissan, which is a great month of transition, transfiguration. It's a month of moving out and moving in. It's a month, a season of coming out of Egypt. So I believe there is a deliverance anointing. There is the spirit of freedom and liberation and jubilee. And if you've been going through some attacks, I want to talk to you today. If you have been going through some demonic systems set up against you, I want to talk to you because it shall be boomeranged and ricochet. And there is an overturning effect that is taking place in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic hosts. I want to say I love you. I've missed you. Honestly, my traveling has been cray cray. Very uh, busy, of course, because it's revival season is harvest time. But uh, I'm glad I got to come out today. And, and I, let me tell you, I have a word to share. I have a word to share and to release over you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God. There is going to be a release of justice and vindication for your life. And every witchcraft stronghold attack that has been set up against you is going to fall and break and shatter in the mighty name of Jesus. So continue to comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Amen. Because one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is here in the house. And I'm here in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Last week, we had incredible three days of revival meetings here in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Uh, my goodness, the deaf hearing, legs growing, uh, metals dissolving, backs being straightened, uh, cancers dissolving, bone and blood cancer. I mean, the Lord is so good. Uh, deliverances, people getting set free in Jesus' name. People getting filled with the Spirit of God, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the fire of God being spread. And so on Thursday last week, we had 67 people. And then on Saturday, uh, we had 160 that showed up. So we're believing for more. Someone comment greater glory. Somebody hashtag greater glory. Carabo. So we're believing for more here uh, in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, and the Pennsylvania State region in Jesus' name. But today I want to talk about the battle acts of the Lord. Because you are his weapon. You are his instrument. You are his vessel. You are the one that the Lord loves to use and implement to destroy the strongholds and the strong places that are captivating or that are keeping God's people captive. So I want to talk to you about the battle acts of the Lord. Because this is a day of great breakthrough. So continue to comment below where you are watching from. Tag somebody, share this on your wall. Because I have a word for you in Jesus' name. Let me give some shout outs here. 
Prophet is Ivana, Natalie. Hey there, Prophet Daniel, good to see you. Brenda Hubscher, Juan Martinez, thanks for being a subscriber. Miss you, friend. Crystal Spring, Vicky Sandoval, LA. I don't know if that's Los Angeles or Louisiana. Lancaster, California, Canada. Glory. Thank you, Brenda. Shalalabata Terabota Taramata, Reza Tarabata. Yolanda, Rebese, Debbie Kuzov from Grand Junction, God bless you. Halana Kerry, thank you for being a subscriber. Prophet Luis, God bless. We got Jamaica in the house, Bianca. Amen. Help us to get the algorithms up. Let's break some numbers today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, today I want to talk about the battle acts of the Lord because I was taken up into a vision today. And in this vision, I saw a battle axe. I saw an axe. I saw a hammer of the Lord. And I believe we're in a season right now where we're going to see the hammer of God. We're going to see the breakthrough. Baal Perazam. The Bible calls one of the names of God, Yahweh Jehovah, Baal Perazim. And of course, Baal simply means God, even though Baal also stands for the false deity, one of the greatest principalities of Satan. But Baal simply means God and Perazim means breakthrough or the breaker. Now, I believe there is a breaker anointing. And one of the things uh, that accompanies me in my ministry and my life, it, re it really is the breaker anointing because if you know a little bit about my story, I've had to break through so many things. I had to break through uh, the own struggles that my family was raised and my family uh, had the own struggles that I had in Los Angeles growing up as a young pastor, as a young minister. But everything in life is about breakthrough. And let me tell you, this is a season of great great breakthrough. And today in the spirit, I saw a vision of the battle acts of the Lord. Now, let me ask you, have you been experiencing some warfare, even some unusual warfare? Have you been experiencing some uh, breakdowns or some setbacks or some calamities or attacks, accusations, allegations? Has the enemy been trying to mess with you, your health, your finances, your name, your reputation, your ministry. Well, let me tell you, there is a breaker anointing that's coming down right now in the name of Jesus. And no religious stronghold, no religious denomination, no witchcraft, no encampment or enchantment of the enemy will be able to thwart the plans of God. So I declare breakthrough over you in Jesus' name. So continue to comment below where you are watching from. Share this on your wall. And I want you to hashtag breakthrough because there is a breaker anointing that is present today in Jesus' name. Now, earlier, the Lord caught me up and he showed me a vision of a battle axe. And he showed me a vision that this axe or this hammer of the Lord is breaking down different barriers, breaking down different strongholds, breaking down different things that have been set up against you. Now, you may not understand it, but we need to understand that there are spiritual powers that are at work against us, against the children of God. But the Bible says, ding, I mean, the Bible doesn't say, say it, but the Bible says, I suffer not a witch to live, but the Bible's, but, but a, a movie says, ding dong, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. So I wanna put every enchanter and canter on notice right now. It's not gonna work. It's not going to work. You shall not touch the Lord's anointed. You shall not touch the child of God. You shall not come near the tent and the dwelling of the Lord in Jesus' name. A bloodline has been drawn and a wall of fire has been released and the hosts of heaven have been released all around and you shall not touch what God has ordained and anointed in Jesus' name. So as I was driving, the Lord caught me up in a vision and I saw a battle axe. 
And I knew that there was a verse to correlate or to expound or substantiate to back up this encounter that I had. So let me go to the word of God here with you. Amen. Let's go over to Jeremiah chapter 20, uh, 51, verse 20. Jeremiah, hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. And here the word of the Lord says, you are my battle axe and sword. Come on, somebody. All of the, you masculine men of God, all of you warriors and you fighters. Come on. This is a word for you. Can I get an amen? I mean, if you are a warrior, if you are a fighter, if you love to fight, if you love to give the devil a black eye, this word is for you. And if you have been experiencing some backlash, some attacks, You've been experiencing some unusual, unfortunate setbacks or things that the enemy has been trying to set up. Once again, here is your last warning. Oh, enemy, it will not be good to you. It will not be good for you. So Jeremiah 51 verse 20. Here the Bible says, you are my battle axe and sword. Amen. With you. I will shatter nations and destroy many kingdoms with you, with you. Someone say with me, with you. Come on. The word of God says, I will shatter armies, destroying the horse and the rider, the chariot and the charioteer. Let me go a little bit further here. Glory to God. Let me just bring, bring up the rest of this verse here because literally for the next couple verses, the Lord just begins to expound the layers of warfare or the layers of attacks that you're going to break through. So let's read that again. I will break into pieces the horse and his rider. I will break in pieces, say pieces, the chariot and his charioteer, his rider. With you, I will break into pieces. Verse 22. Man and woman, even man and woman. With you, I'll break into pieces, old and young. With you, come on, with you. That's the key word, with you. With you, I will break into pieces. The young man and the maid, the servant. I'll break into pieces, the shepherd and his flock. With you, I'll break into pieces, the husband or the worker and the yoke of oxen. With you, I'll break the captains and rulers. In Jesus' name. I will render unto Babylon and the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil they have done in Zion in your sight, says the Lord. Someone hashtag breakthrough. Now I'm reading out of the King James Version right now, which is kind of tripping me out. It's about to get me speaking in Shakespearean here. But you see here, there's layers. Seven say layers. There's layers of breakthrough. There's layers of warfare attack that was set up against you. But here the Lord says, you are my hammer, my battle ax, and my weapon of war. The Lord loves to use you. He loves to use the foolish things of the earth to confound the wise. He loves to use the misfits, the nobodies, the no names, the nameless faceless, the underdog. He loves to use the things that are hidden, that seem to be insignificant. I mean, look at Gideon's army of 300. Gideon said, I'm the least of my father's house and the whole tribe of Benjamin. You look at the story of David. He was not even included in the feast, in the ceremony of being presented before the prophet Samuel. You begin to look at the story of the 12 apostles because they were fishermen, uneducated, ignored, rejected, dejected in society. Amen. So you see constantly the Lord loves to use the nameless faces, the nobodies, the ones that have been rejected and looked down upon. Amen. You are my hammer, my battle axe, and my weapon of war. We even look at the story of Hanukkah, which I love Hanukkah. Hanukkah is not a major biblical feast, but it's one of the minor feasts. If you look at the story of Hanukkah and you look at the Maccabees, there's a ragtag group of agricultural farmers that came and came together, tribaled up tribe together and formed a company 
to topple and to overthrow, to dethrone the very greatest army military kingdom of the world at that time. Won't he do it? Yes, you will. So here, Jeremiah 51, verse 20 to 24. The Lord says, you are my battle axe. You are my weapon of war. With you, I will break nations into pieces. Now I'm reading out of the English Standard Version. I will break nations into pieces. With you, I will destroy kingdoms. With you, I will break in pieces the horse and its rider. With you, come on, repetition, repetition. With you, I break in pieces the chariot and the charioteer. With you, I break into pieces the man and women. With you, I break into pieces the old man and the youth. With you, the pieces of the young man and the young woman. With you, the shepherd and his flock, the farmer and his team, the governors and commanders. Jesus, someone shot fire. Somebody shot hallelujah. These are layers in society, or these are layers of the infrastructure of the religious order, of the system of the day. The systems, the principalities of the day, these are layers that are set up. And the Lord says with you, I will break these things with you. I will bring reformation with you. I will change society with you. And in fact, it's not just changing. But it's breaking. Some would say it's breaking. Come on, somebody. Literally, that word break is repeated about eight, nine, ten times in, in these four verses. Some would say break. I want you to clap your hands eight times and shout break. Break, 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 break. He will break with you every single thing that is set up against you in Jesus' name. Now... The story of my humble life, I had to break through many things. I had to break through a Korean stigma. I had to break through uh, my own uh, curses and my own struggles and demons that I struggled with growing up. Uh, being a drug dealer, being addicted to drugs, being involved in gang activity, criminal activity. I had to break because the Lord is saying, you are my hammer. You are my weapon of war. You are my battle ax says the Lord, and he has formed you and forged you in fire for this season. He has forged you in fire to be that weapon, to be that tool, to be that instrument, to be that vessel that brings breakthrough and change today. Someone say, my breakthrough is available today in Jesus' mighty name. Now there's layers. Come on, somebody. There's layers. Someone say, go deeper, Pastor Ben. There's layers. I will break into nations, kingdoms, Horses and his rider, chariots and charioteer, man and woman, old and youth, young man and young woman, shepherd and flock, farm and team, governors and commanders. These are ten realms of breakthrough that the Bible, the Word of God, begins to list. Ten layers of breakthrough. And I believe right now, whatever attack you're going through, whatever the enemy is trying to conjure up against you, there's going to be a breaking down of every wall, a breaking down of every chariot, of every horse, of every demonic incantation that has been set up against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Some will say 10 realms of breakthrough. There's going to be 10 realms of breakthrough in your life, 10 realms of breakthrough. And you know what? How is God going to break these things with you? Because you are his vessel. You are are his instrument. You are his weapon. Come on, somebody. When God began to look throughout the army, when God began to survey the land, he found you. He saw you. He said, my son, my daughter, my child, I can use you. You look like the perfect piece. You look like the perfect instrument to bring change and breakthrough because you're not going to back down, because you're not a people pleaser, because you don't kiss the bootay of people's behinds, because you do not care about their opinions, because whatever the devil tries to throw at you, you're going to destroy in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree right now, breakthrough in every single area of your life, in your finances, in your health in your reputation, in your ministry, in your business, in your family, in your relationships, in your mind, in your heart. There's going to be breakthrough in every single area in the name of Jesus. If you receive it today, I want you to shout hallelujah. My goodness, I feel the Lord today. If you feel the presence of the Lord, 
And if you are in agreement with the man of God today, really with the word of the Lord, I want you to say amen. Because there's breakthrough in Jesus' name. And he uses you to break these things into pieces. He uses you. Now I know sometimes we want God to send a bolt of lightning from the sky. To send fire on the false prophets like Elisha commanded. Elijah, excuse me. Now I know sometimes we want some extraterrestrial activity, some paranormal activity, some kind of supernatural message or sign from beyond. But the Lord says, no, it's you. Because you're my son, you're my daughter, you're my child. So therefore he fills you with the power of God, with the Holy Ghost. He fills you with the anointing that breaks every yoke. He fills you and he uses you to bring change to these systemic issues in society, in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I am God's weapon of choice. You are God's weapon of choice. And even in the word of God, as we see, there's 10 layers or 10 realms of breakthrough. And the Lord wants to break it through. Now, this word here, my goodness, this word is nafats. In Hebrew, I wanted to say nafat, okay? Now this word, battle axe, okay? Battle axe. It comes from the root word that is in Hebrew, nafat. Battle axe is nafat. And what nafat means, it means to shatter. Someone say, I am going to shatter every attack of the enemy. It means to shatter. One nafatz in Hebrew means to break up. You're breaking up the hard ground. You are shattering like jars of clay. One nafatz also means is to dash into pieces, to disperse, to spread out, and to scatter. So God is using the battle axe. God is using you in your life your story, your testimony. God is using the mantle on your life to nafats, to shatter, to scatter, to break into pieces, to disperse, to obliterate. You're not gonna see it anymore. One of my favorite passages, the word of God says, you will look back and see that your enemies have dispersed. Your enemies have scattered. Your enemies are no longer there. There is going to be a breaking anointing and a breaker anointing, really. That's going to shatter and scatter. I want you to say shatter and scatter. That will shatter and scatter every realm that has been set up against you in Jesus' name. Do you know why? Because you are his weapon. Because you are his battle ax. And as I was driving here today to Lebanon, Pennsylvania, I saw a vision of a battle ax. And the Lord says, this is a season of breakthrough. This is a season where God is going to tear down the strongholds. What did the Lord say to his son, to his prophet, Jeremiah? I will use you to build up and to tear down. Come on, who here knows that prophets, revivalist apostles, men and women of God, do not only edify to build up, but we also rebuke. We also correct. We also tear down. We confront, we are a weapon, amen. We are weapons of God's warfare, weapons of his righteousness. And of course, a weapon or a tool and instrument is meant to be used. So the Lord is beginning to tear down different things in the supernatural spiritual realm. He's using it to tear down. And I know this may not be a comfortable word, but you are a reformer. You've been called for this. You've been appointed for this for such a time as this. If you believe it, and if you receive it right now, say amen. 10 realms of breakthrough. 10 realms of breakthrough. And the Lord says, I will shatter and I will break every single thing that is set up against you. Amen. So there's specifically five things that the Lord impressed upon my heart today that I believe God is bringing breakthrough in this season. Amen. If you're with me today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. 
just five realms specifically that God is using you to break. He's using you to break. I'm going to repeat this again. I know sometimes we want an angel to do it. We want God to send a lightning bolt. We want God to send fire from heaven. We want, you know, we want something to be done by God, but God does it with you, through you. He uses vessels made of earth and clay, and he uses them for his glory because it's not about you. It's about the partnership that we have in Christ Jesus. It's about this dynamic duo. It's about this teamwork effort with you and the Lord, with you and the Holy Spirit. Now, if you're with me today, say amen, give us some hearts and likes, and I want you to just comment breakthrough. I saw a vision today of a battle ax of a hammer coming down. And the Lord says, get ready for five realms of breakthrough. And here in the Bible, in the Word of God, Jeremiah 51, verse 20 to 24, there are specifically 10 layers or realms of breakthrough. 10 layers or realms of breakthrough. And it's listed here. And again, we could go into revelation of what each listed item means prophetically. I mean, look at this. Here in verse 22, Jeremiah 51, verse 22, it says, I will shatter the old man and the youth. To me, that stands for generational breakthrough, the old man and the youth. Generational issues, generational, amen? But I want to give you five realms of breakthrough today. And I believe there's going to bear witness with you. And if you're with me today, and if you're ready to receive, I want you to say amen. The first realm of breakthrough that God is going to give you and do with you because you are a bloodline breaker. You are a generational curse breaker. You are a reformer. And you are God's chosen vessel. Amen. He's going to do it with you. Somebody say, I am breakthrough. So the first realm of breakthrough, I believe God's going to do with you in Jesus' name is number one, the religious systems of the day. The religious systems of the day. My goodness, do you know how many people get offended by me and our ministry? I'm telling you. And you know what? I, I must be in good company because the Bible says that Jesus offended many. The Bible says that they were offended at the words of Jesus. How dare you say such a thing? So the first realm of breakthrough is religious systems of today. I'm telling you, friends, the Lord is not happy. He's not pleased. There is a breaking and a tearing down of religious, manipulative, witchcraft spirits that are in the church, that are in denominations, that are even in regions, okay? Certain regions have even more religious spirits than others. And whenever there's religious spirits, you understand that there's probably poverty and it's also accompanied with sickness and infirmity. So the first realm of breakthrough God is releasing and he's doing with you because you are the battle axe. Number one is religious systems of the day. That's the first realm of breakthrough. The second realm of breakthrough, it is financial systems that are set up against you. Financial systems. Who here knows that the World Economic Forum, that the one world order, the globalist elitists, they do not want us to prosper. Communism, socialism, wants to destroy the American dollar. In fact, the US dollar is nearly destroyed, okay? Wants to destroy and take away from God's people, power, freedom, and the freedom uh, to own and the freedom to possess and the freedom to have business, trade, commerce. There are spirits and systems in place to destroy the to destroy the economy and to destroy the church, to keep people poor, to take advantage of the people of God. So the second realm of breakthrough, I believe God's giving and releasing, is financial systems in the universe, in the globe, in the world, financial system, all right? Number three, the third realm of breakthrough the Lord wants to release over you is in your health, okay, is in your health. 
Who you knows? A lot of these companies, especially in the United States, they are putting junk, GMO, chemicals. They're literally putting rats and mice chemicals in our foods, in our waters, in the things we eat, drink, in the air. They're polluting and colluding. So number three, the third realm of breakthrough I believe God wants to release is your health. He wants you to be blessed. May you prosper in all things as you prosper in your soul. May it be well with you. May it be good with you. So the third realm is in your health. So God is releasing breakthrough in your health. That stress, that anxiety, that fear. Maybe you're experiencing some physical infirmity in your body. Cancer, shata. But the Lord is breaking that with you in Jesus' name. You need to battle with the Lord. You need to battle in the Holy Ghost. Fast and pray. Seek the word of the Lord. You need to declare the word of the Lord. And watch what begins to happen. So the third realm of breakthrough is in your health. If you're with me today, say amen. The fourth realm of breakthrough, I believe the Lord wants to release. Number four, the fourth realm of breakthrough he wants to release. It is relational. Okay. It is relational. Now, whenever, okay, I'm going to say this. Help me, Lord. Thank you. Whenever the enemy attacks, whenever the enemy attacks, many times it's in three areas. Whenever the enemy attacks, are you ready for this? Whenever the enemy attacks, number one, it's against your health, your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health. Okay. Whenever the enemy attacks, many times it's in these three areas. Number one, it's your health. The devil wants you to be stuck on pharmacia, to be stuck on narcotics, uh, to be bound to pharmaceuticals. The enemy wants your body to be infirmed and to be sick, okay? So number one, the first realm that the enemy always attacks is in your health. The second realm is many times in your finances. The locusts, the canker worms, the palmer worms will eat up your agriculture. And again, you can say, well, Dr. Ben, you know, it's because I'm not tithing. It's because I'm not uh, releasing a realm of protection, that security insurance on my life. Therefore, I've opened up a door for the enemy to attack my finances. But whenever God is trying to get your attention or whenever the enemy is trying to attack you, it is in your financial power and your financial freedom. It is in your assets. It's in the money, the agriculture, the harvest, the crops. And in the third realm, whenever the enemy attacks, is relationships. And isn't it interesting, many times the enemy will use those that are closest to you to attack you. The enemy will manipulate and deceive. And the enemy will use those that are closest to you to attack you, to be a thorn in your flesh, attack your character, to be a Jezebel, to be a Judas, to begin to slime you, nickel and dime you, to begin to destroy you and attack you and really annoy you. So those that you thought were your friends, are they your friends or are they frenemies? Those that you thought were for you, are they for you or are they for what you have? Once you get out the way, they're gonna steal your ideas. They're gonna steal your friendships. They're gonna steal, that's what Jezebel does. Steal your intellectual properties, steal your assets, steal the inheritance of your family. So those are three realms where the enemy will many times attack, okay? And you have to understand that and you have to be guarded and you have to be prepared against the wicked wiles of the enemy. But now let's backtrack. The fourth realm of breakthrough I believe God wants to give is relationships. Relationally, there's a mega shift going on. And friends, you need to hear me. This may be the most important thing you will hear today. This may be, in fact, it is, it will be the most important thing you will hear all day today. And what is that? We are in the biggest transition of our lives. From today to Passover Sunday, we have stepped into the Hebrew month of Nisan. And Nisan is the month of crossing over, of leaving Egypt. Somebody say, I'm leaving Egypt in Jesus' name. Are you ready to leave Egypt? Are you ready to leave that last season? Are you ready to leave those people? 
Are you ready to leave that minimum wage job? Are you ready to leave those uh, unappreciating people, those people who judge you, criticize you? Are you ready to leave your Egypt? So we are in the greatest month and transition. Greatest month of transition. And we are in the greatest month of Exodus. We're not going back. I'm not looking back. The cross is for me. The, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. So this is a season where you're leaving Egyptian Babylonian ways behind. And you're being set apart to exit. It is a mass Lexit, Lexit, it is a mass exodus taking place. People are leaving religious churches. The doctrines of demons, low-level, lukewarm religiosity, low-level, lukewarm friends, friendship circles that are just, uh, you know, that are just tickling your ear and that are like swampy pools of just keeping you bound. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to leave. So the fourth realm of breakthrough that God's releasing is relationships. Some of you need to draw the line. You need to draw boundaries. You need to have the healthy, brave, bold communication. Do Matthew 18. Relationships. There's breakthrough in relationship. And some of you, hallelujah, are about to get set free from some toxic partnerships and some toxic associations. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus right now, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Come out and touch no unclean thing in Jesus' mighty name. So the fourth realm of breakthrough is in your relationships. If you're with me today, say amen. If you're ready for number five, I want you to comment, I am ready. Number one, the first realm of breakthrough is you are going to break the religious system. Number two, you are going to break the financial system. You will not be in a lower level income. You will not be in poverty. You will not be in debt. You will not be a borrower. You will not be bound. The Lord does not want you to be a slave. He wants you to be a lender. He wants you to be the giver, the head, and not the tail. Number three, the third realm of breakthrough is in your health. Amen. The fourth realm of breakthrough is in your relationships. Can I get a hallelujah in your relationships? And number five, the fifth, re fifth realm, excuse me, a breakthrough that the Lord is releasing right now is in your destiny. I need you to hear this. It's not too late for you. It's still 2023. I know time is flying by. We There's great acceleration. It's like, wow, it's almost April. But it's not too late for you. For those goals that you've set to be worked out, for those things that you desire in your heart, those dreams, those visions, that business, that book, that ministry. It's not too late for you to take that dream vacation for your family. It's not too late for you. Come on, somebody. You're never too old for change. Can an old dog learn new tricks? Listen, you're not a dog, first of all. Amen. But it's never too late for you. You're never too old for change. And I believe the fifth realm of breakthrough God is releasing is in your destiny. And some of you, hope deferred makes the heart sick, desires fulfilled to the tree of life. Some of you have become sick because you've been discouraged, dismayed, because you have been feeling deferred. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, desires fulfilled as a tree of life. Are you ready for trees of life? Are you ready for destinies to be fulfilled? Prophecies to come to pass. The word of the Lord to come to pass in your life. If you believe it, say amen. You're going to cross over like Joshua and Caleb. I don't know about you, but I want to be a part of the Joshua and Caleb generation. I want to make it, Lord God. And I don't want anything to hold me back. I don't want anything. I don't want what the people say, the murmuring, the grumbling, the gossip, the slander, the witchcraft, the flesh, the carnal things, religiosity, uh, low-level people, lazy people. I don't want these things to hold me. Offense, bitterness. I don't want these things to hold me back. I'm going to keep progressing and advancing in the glory of God because the Lord says, you are a battle axe unto me. You are my weapon, says the Lord. You are my hammer. My battle axe and my weapon of war, Jesus. With you, I will break nations 
into pieces. With you, I will destroy kingdoms. With you, I break in pieces the horse and its rider. With you, I break in pieces the chariots and the charioteer. With you, I break in pieces men and women. With you, I break in pieces the old man and the youth. With you, I break in pieces the young man and the young woman. With you, I break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. With you, I break into pieces the farm and his team. With you, I break in pieces governors and commanders. I will repay Babylon and all the inhabitants of Chaldea before your very eyes for all the evil that they have done in Zion, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 51, 20 to 24. With you. Someone comment with me. With me, God will break into pieces. Dot, dot, dot. You fill in the blank, people of God. You are God's battle axe. And he's going to do it with you. Whether you like it or not. Whether they like it or not. But they did not call you. You don't need their acceptance. You don't need their permission. You don't need to wait on a man or a woman. You don't need to wait on the opinions of Sandpaper Susie and Rubber Duck Religious Robbie. You don't need to wait on Nancy or Karen or Gavin Newsom. Those who wait upon the Lord, their strength will be renewed. And I declare right now, with you, there's going to be breakthrough. With you, there's going to be prosperity. Progress, advancement, with you. In the name of Jesus, do you need breakthrough in your life? Is something holding you back? Do you feel delayed, discouraged, dismayed? Have you been going through some attacks? Have you been going through some unfortunate situation scenarios? Some side swipes? All of a sudden, you're going in one direction, but now you have to pivot and shift because somebody betrayed you. Because somebody took advantage of you. They lied to you. They let you down. I declare right now that you are his battle ax and you are the one that he loves. Come on, I want you to pray right now. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, rubber duck, Rob Filler. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Rabba <laughs> Sitaramata. I declare right now, it's time for war. And even as the apostle Chuck Pierce has declared that this is a decade of war. 5780, these years and this decade of the 80s, it is a decade of war. It is a season of war because Pharaoh is not trying to release you. That Pharaoh spirit and the Egyptian spirit principality is trying to hold the people of God captive, it is trying to hold back your inheritance steal your money. What was going on in Egypt? In Egypt, the taskmasters were enslaving the Jewish people, God's people. What does that mean? It's holding back their finances, their possessions, holding back what is rightfully due to them, the wages of the worker, unjustly. And the Lord is breaking that Pharaoh spirit that's hovering over you. That spirit of witchcraft, fear, intimidation. The Lord is breaking that Pharaoh Egyptian spirit because you are his battle axe. And I declare and I decree right now that the power and the fire of God is about to come. Somebody say fire. Burn it up right now. Break it down. Shatter and scatter in Yeshua's mighty name. Shatter and scatter in the name of Jesus. Because things are beginning to take place and God is going to destroy whatever's been set up against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your hands and pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Pray in your spiritual language. Pray in your gift right now that the Lord has given unto you unction, flow. I'm telling you, friends, this is an act of war. And the Lord says, vengeance is mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. From now to Passover, Resurrection Sunday, you're going to see great changes in your life. I'm talking to you, friends. You are in the middle of the greatest transition of your life. And many of you, you're not even going to recognize yourself. You're not even going to recognize who you are. Because there's going to be so much change 
and transfiguration. Jesus. Maradoska tarabranta mashka tarablata. Reska tarabata tarablata. Thank you, Lord. Someone say fire. Fire. I believe the hammer's coming down. The battle axe is about to come down in Jesus' name. And the Lord is going to use you with you. I will break into pieces with you. Someone say with me, with you, with you. He's going to use you to offend. He's going to use you to shift, to reform. He's going to use you to change. He's going to use you to destroy some evil demonic entities that have been set up with you in Jesus mighty name. Someone say hallelujah. Absolutely. Prophet is Ivana. Judgment belongs first to the house of God. And I don't know who's giving me these angry faces, but keep it up. Judgment belongs first in the house of God. There is a cleansing anointing. The shattering and the scattering from the hand of God. The shattering and the scattering in Jesus' name. And he's going to do it with you. And people are going to be shocked and surprised. Wow. I didn't know you had it in you. I didn't know that you were able to be so blunt, to be so bold. I didn't know you could stand up. Well, enough is enough. I'm not taking your nonsense anymore. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing patty cake. I'm not going to suck up to you anymore. I'm not going to walk around eggshells anymore. It's time to break. I declare right now, break through. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire. Cha. 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 Fire of the Holy Ghost. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Reka, and you will leave Egypt sevenfold over. You will leave Egypt. You will leave this last season. My goodness. Seven, I'm telling you, I feel the fire right now. Jesus, help me. You're going to leave Egypt this last season sevenfold over. And you're not going to look back. You're not going to apologize. You're not going to be apologetic. They had their chance. Many, many to kill a parson. Your time is up. The writing is on the wall. The hand and the finger of God is against you. Is written on the wall. Rabba Baba. And I just want to say out loud as a public, uh, as a public statement. I'm not speaking about anybody personally, honestly. I'm not, me personally, I'm not speaking about anybody, okay? But I'm speaking to those evil demonic spirits that dare to contest me and God's people because the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. <laughs> Righteous anger, friends. I'm telling you, get ready for eviction notices. Get ready to cast every demonic principality out of your church, out of your family, out of your inner circle, out of your life, out of your inbox, out of your friends list, out of your fake book friends. Get ready to block and to delete in Yeshua's name. Mata tarabata. Your time is up. Many, many to kill a person. Your time is up. The writing is on the wall. And everything the enemy is trying to do against Trump, once again, Russia collusion, farce impeachment trial, impeachment trial number two, Jan 6. I mean, what else? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and these evil, corrupt politicians that are filled with kundalini and filled all dare to try to bewitch and continue to trick and steal and connive the people and kill people worldwide and destroy businesses and take away our freedoms. The devil is a liar. Uh-uh, not today. Not on my watch in Jesus' name because you are God's battle axe. You are his weapon. You are his sword. And the Lord loves to use you. He delights in using the foolish things to confound the wise. My goodness. I feel a preach of my spirit, my friends. I feel a preach of my spirit. Rebe say, many, many to kill a person in Jesus' name. Five realms of breakthrough that God has given you right now. 
Five realms of breakthrough. And I'm telling you, friends, this economic crash, there's a market crash that is looming and glooming and is soon upon us. It will not touch you. It will only prosper you. You will only benefit from this season. I'm talking to you as a man of God. Have faith. Believe in God's word. He's your provider. He is Jehovah Jireh. It will not touch you. It will not come near your dwelling place, your tent. It will not come near your habitation. Your family will be saved. In the name of Jesus. That devil will not come near my kids, my family, my parents, my church. That evil, wicked spirit will not come near my loved ones. Shut that in Jesus' name. Phony baloney, mumbo jumbo nonsense. Someone say hallelujah. For the battle is mine, says the Lord. And the victory belongs to Jesus. The victory belongs to Jesus. Every sabotaging, usurping spirit will be thwarted. And it will fall to the ground as nothing. I see you right now different arrows that have been shot against you. It will become nothing. It will vanish like the vapor of the earth that it is. It will vanish and become like a mist and be no longer even remembered or visible again. It will suddenly disappear. It will suddenly disappear and vanish because he will use you to shatter and to scatter. Religious systems, number one. Number two, financial systems. Number three, health issues. Physical, number four, financial. And number five, your destiny. Have you been experiencing some setback, some warfare, some backlash? Have you been experiencing some unusual attacks on warfare? Well, I de declare right now, that every written assignment against you will be ripped and shattered into pieces and will fall and become nothing in Yeshua's mighty name. Someone say amen. Listen, people of God, I want you to just comment below if this word resonated with you, if you received this word today. Come on, I want you to hashtag I'm covered. I want you to hashtag I'm covered. Come on, you're covered by the blood. Remember, it's the Red Sea. That's split in two. What does the Red Sea stand for? The Red Sea stands for the blood of Jesus. And we cross over through his blood. We leave the life of death and hell and the sinful life. And we leave the old Adamic nature where we're enslaved to sin and to the wages of death. We leave Egypt through the Red Sea, through the blood of Jesus. You are about to cross through the blood of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. My goodness. I feel afraid for the one who speaks against a man and woman of God. I feel terrified for the one who is in the wrong camp. I feel terrified for those that dare to put their mouth on what God has blessed. Shaka talalamata. Someone shout hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Continue to comment. Hashtag. I'm covered. I'm covered. I'm covered. Your family's covered. Your ministry's covered. Your life is covered. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Your finances are covered. Your future is covered. I cannot emphasize this enough, people. <sighs> I cannot emphasize this enough. You are in the greatest transition of your life. You might say, well, Pastor Ben, you said that a number of months ago. It's because we continually go from glory to glory, which means we continually end up in the greatest transition. It's new. It's a new season. It's a new transition. It's a new realm of increase. <laughs> Which means there's new battles. There's different warfares. 
And again, I want to make a public disclaimer. I'm not speaking against anybody right now. I'm not speaking about anybody right now. But I'm not happy about what I'm seeing in the body of Christ. I'm not happy with what I'm feeling, sensing in the spirit overall. Because the enemy knows his time is up. That's why he's squandering. He is scurrying in a hurry to try to take down as much as he can, to try to inflict and affect as much damage as he can. But the devil's a liar and you're covered, my friends. You're covered. Now I know today's broadcast may have been a little heavy on the warfare, but sometimes you just need to say, hey, Jesus made me to be a battle ax. Jesus made me to be a sword. To be a sword, not a little butter knife, not a little kitchen knife, but to be a Roman double-edged sword, to be a samurai Japanese katana. The Lord formed me in fire for war. Did you know revival is warfare? Did you know revival is a weapon of God? Did you know prayer is a weapon of God? Did you know fasting is a weapon? Reading the word is a weapon. Did you know that these are weapons of warfare, of righteousness? All of this is a battle, my friends. Remember, we are not a cruise ship. We are a warship. We are not a people that's just trying to get another nice prophetic word and just be a little fairy, just flying around in adventure and some kind of fantasical life where it's just a bless me club. I want a feel good club. Oh, look at me club. I'm trying to feel important because I'm an attention seeker because I have daddy wounds club. No, we are an army. We are the new breed. We are the army of the Lord Jehovah. <laughs> if you are a warrior, say, I'm a warrior. Zaman, da, 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 da. And this fight you're fighting, it's not just for you, it's not just for your family, but it's for your region. It's for this generation. And I refuse, I refuse to allow certain things happen in my era, in my generation. Do you not know Maybe you were brought up in this position for something bigger than you, for such a time as this. Do you not know, Esther? It's not just for you to enjoy the freedom of America, the blessing of having a silver spoon with your privileged parents. It's not just so that you can just enjoy the fat of the land and just be blessed and, and just be lazy and just be a smorgasbord of Christians. It's the war. It's the battle. It's to save souls. Chikata. Not this one. Not this one. Jesus. Not this one. Not this one. Not today, see. Not today, not ever. No. Even as the angel of death passed by. That's right. You better keep walking. That's right. You better keep stepping. Even as the angel of death passed by, every home that was smothered and smeared and covered and anointed with the blood of the precious lamb, not this one. Mm -mm. You have no legal rights to come here. You have no legal entry to come here. Are you kidding me? Show me that warrant. Show me your paper. Show me your credentials. Who do you think you is? You better get to stepping. You better get to walking before I exercise my second amendment right. You better get to stepping before I obliterate you in the mighty name of Jesus. You better get to, mm, don't look at me. Don't even talk about me. <sighs> don't even put my name on your lips. Mm -mm, not today. You better get to walking. You're messing with the wrong person, buddy. Uh-uh. There's only one sheriff in town and that's Jesus Christ. There's only one sheriff in town. There's only one alpha, and that is the alpha and the omega. You definitely ain't no alpha. You're more like a beta. You're more like a beta. 
Or should I even say Charlie or Del? You're more like a beta. You ain't even, a, you're not even an, are you kidding me? You, you want to come up to this? You false prophets of Baal. You want to do this Mont Carmel? Magic, you want to come up on Mont Carmel again? You want to do this again? Because you see these scars? You, you see these, you see these scars? You see these stripes? I've earned this. Do you, do you see this? I've walked through some valleys. I've walked through some wildernesses. I've walked through some Judases. I've walked through some Jezebels. I've walked through some valleys. I've walked through some things. Are you sure you want to do this today? Because I will gladly roll up my sleeves and show you that I'm still from the south side of the kingdom. Gladly. I will gladly. Fire of God. <laughs> Fire of God. Serabatarada. Shh. <sighs> Telling your friends. From today to Resurrection Sunday to Passover. We're in a battle where Pharaoh is battling with Moses. Battling with the Lord. Where Pharaoh is teetering and tottering. Going back and forth. But we know the beginning to the end that the church is victorious that the church has won we know who we are that we are meant to rule and reign with the Lord Jesus we know his blood speaks a better word the covenant of better things we know someone say hallelujah I want to speak this over you as we're about to close in a bit and if you're with me today, say amen and give some hearts and likes. The Lord has some tricks up his sleeve. Mm -hmm. The Lord has some tricks up his sleeves. And the Lord loves to fight for his kids. The Lord loves to fight for his kids. He has some tricks up his sleeves. He has some weapons that have been hidden and tucked away, concealed that you know nothing about. You don't know anything about. Not even your metal detectors can catch this. Not even your minions and your hordes of demons, your watching, monitoring spirits can catch this. You think you're so clever. The Lord has some tricks up his sleeve that you know nothing about. <laughs> you think I was born yesterday? Listen, I may have been born at night, but I was not born last night. You think I'm a fool. You think it's my first word. The devil is a liar. Bang, bang. I said bang, bang. Telling your friends, we are in a season right now where the Lord is assembling his army, his remnant, and saying enough is enough. It's time to draw a line in the sand. Are you ready for these five realms of breakthrough? Five rounds of breakthrough. I'm going to read this again. And we're going to close today. My goodness. Jeremiah 51 verse 20 to 24. You, Anthony Caraballo. You, Melissa Filler. Prophetess Ivana. You are my battle axe. My hammer. My weapon of war. You, Sherry. Don, Marie, Lucienne, Cece, Patrice, Tamara, Jessica Yu, Phoebe, Chanel Jackson, Rebeda Baba Babasa, Brenda Hupsher, Shara Vic Strike, Louis A. Puckett, Child of Most Time. Natasha S. Houston, Hetty Mills, Shelly Fuchs. The Lord says you, Michelle Doug Weedman, Lucy Samuel Fern. You, says God, you are my battle axe, my hammer, my weapon of war. With you, I break into pieces, nations. With you, I destroy kingdoms. 
With you I break in pieces the horse and its rider. With you I break in pieces the chariot and the charioteer. With you I break into pieces man and woman. With you I break in pieces the old man and the youth. With you, Milagre, I break into pieces the young man and the young woman. With you, Debbie Kuzov, with you I break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. With you, I break in pieces the farmer and his team. And with you, Melissa Filler, I break in pieces governors and commanders. With you, 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 with you. He will do it with you. He doesn't want to do with anyone with you. He wants to do with you. He doesn't want to do with the anointed man, the anointed woman on stage, the famous mainstream preacher on TikTok. He wants to do it with you. With you. He doesn't want to do it with somebody who has all these credentials and all these degrees and pedigrees. He wants to do it with you. With you. I know you want a knight in shining armor. You want a Superman hero in a cape and some tidy pants to come. But no, he wants to do it with you you with you I know you want your pastor to do it I know you want a one fixed deliverance shop you want a one and done type of thing but he wants to do it with you with you with you lift up your hands father I thank you bless your people today every single person who has heard and received this word today I ask you that you will assemble them and get them ready for the greatest victory that we have yet to ever see <laughs> with you, with you, with you. Enough is enough with you. In Jesus name, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shalala batata, rebe satata. Glory to God. With you. With you. Well, friends, thanks for watching today. What a now word. What a now anointing. With you. Well, friends, if this word blessed you, give us a heart and a like. Share this broadcast. Go ahead and follow me here on this Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. For I come on weekly with different prophetic words, prophetic insight. And I'm telling you, friends, we are going from glory to glory. I'm here in Lebanon, Pennsylvania today, tomorrow and Saturday. Next week, I'll be in Oahu, and I'll be in Hilo and Kona, Hawaii, Big Island. Can't wait to see you. Love you all. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. If you're blessed, say amen. Thank you. God bless.